Welcome to Love Them Knives Channel. LTK here. Yeah, that's right. We're going to love them knives. And uh, let's talk about this one. Baluga. The Baluga because we love them Baluga. Oh, my God. You got to take a look at my petrified fish drawer. That's a sign of sickness, isn't it? I, I was counting. I had to pull 10 knives out so I could get the door drawer shut. And I'm going, oh, my God. But I, I am sharing drawer space with Tucson knives. So that explains that, right? So which means I had to pull some Tucson knives out of that. To, I, I got to reorganize everything. But I did. I piled through these. I must have, I probably only have like 20 or 30 of these petrified fish knives. Is that all? And now I got one more. Okay, there you go. The Beluga. It is the most wonderfulest petrified fish knife forever and ever. And you can disagree with me because I think there's a lot of other really good knives that they've made. But this has really hit the sweet spot with a lot of people. Oh, by the way, I have another one of these in blue micarta. Not the blue G10 here. I did in sapphire blue. Okay, and then I've got the I've got one or two in the Tanto blade. So these. Okay, let's let's try and get organized here. Let's get this out of the box. I'm sorry, I should have done this quicker. Okay, here's the fixed blade Beluga. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> it's got a little, yeah, I guess that, that, whatever that came in contact with in there is keeping it, keeping it wonderful, keeping it moist or something. So here's this, and I guess this is just for spacer, and this is just because you're spacey, and what is in here? There's, there's actually something in here. Oh, the tech, the tech lock deal. Okay. So we got the tech lock thing. Oh, okay, wow. You know what? I almost forgot it because I got this and I ended up going to SHOT Show and then I got sick with some virus for a week. And uh, now are you done with me, Mother Nature? And so, um, so then you've got this, which is way, way cool and groovy. There you go. Put it on your belt. Whoosh, snap. Well, first of all. <laughs> You know, you could install it on the actual sheath. But, I mean, here you go. Carry it scout style. Or, you know, this is really good because you could put this on your belt and carry it in a cross draw position. So that's probably the way I would like to go with this as opposed to using the tech lock. But, I mean, the tech lock is good, you know, for up and down carry and or a lot of other kinds of carry because it's so multifunctional, right? Tech lock, but at the bottom I saw this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost, almost didn't see it in here. So these are little extra extras, right? Okay, okay. Little extras in here, and yeah. So we've got uh, extra hardware for, of course, the tech lock. Just wanted you to know. And let's let's keep the regular sheath in here. Let's put the tech lock away. But let's let's take the fixed blade beluga and the normal size beluga and put them side by side. And what do you think? Holy crap, Batman! They look like they're the same size. Okay. So how do you explain yourself with that one? Let's try it. Yeah, 3.65, 3.7 inch blade, okay, at like 95 millimeters, and then eight and one quarter uh, inch overall and 21 centimeters. Okay, so if we're saying 21 centimeters, eight and a quarter overall, right? Okay, 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 okay. Usually, yeah, come on, hold on up there, buddy. Yeah, we got eight and a quarter, 21 centimeters. E Bob, and yeah, basically three and five eighths here. Yeah, just almost exactly the same blade length as well. Okay, because I was saying on fixed blades, a lot of times they'll have um, maybe a little bit longer handle. 
it depends on if it's a big fixed blade or a small one, okay? Now, if it's a big fixed blade, yeah, the handle will be smaller in relation to the overall length because they got a big old blade, and it doesn't matter. You know, you don't have to worry about, like this, folding it in and not exceeding the length of the handle, okay? But in this one, it's pretty much fair play, isn't it? And I guess you could pop this off, and I don't know if this is... You know, I don't know if this is a skeletonized inside or not, okay? Now, let's take a look, and it's N690. I know, it's the universal favorite steel from especially knife steel nerds, okay? So, here it is. <laughs> but you know what? I like it. I like it. Um, N690 is good because it's good and... Uh, corrosion resistant which would be good for an outdoor knife plus i mean this could be used for kitchen duty and or food prep or whatever whether it's camping or in-house or whatever right but i mean so their chef's knives made of n690 because yeah it's very non-corrosive a lot of chromium in it it's very popular steel in europe it's a bowler you know n690 not m390 right but Okay, so maybe a lot more sharpenable and usable and stuff. You can argue a lot of points, but, I mean, here's the thing. That's not $899. It's $89.99, right? Okay, so, okay. So, yeah, it's probably not going to be M390. But, so you get, I mean, you get the sheath with multiple carry options, and the tech lock, and then you just get a good looking knife. The PFP 01 F as in Frank, right? It's G10, or it could be Micarta. Which do you prefer? Okay. And check this out. Do you want it in holy crap, black G10 with blackstone wash or with satin? Blue Micarta with satin? Brown Micarta with satin? Orange G Mascus and Black Stone Wash. Black G10. I mean, it's just, ugh. Okay, so that's great. 8.27 overall, like we were saying, 3.62. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, say so four millimeter blade thickness. And this is just redundant right here, isn't it? Okay. But you know what? Four millimeters thick. How's it feel in the hand? It feels lovely. You know why? Because the beluga is awesome. It's just, it's just awesome. Uh, I like it. I think these belugas have a great feel to them. I know this is a front flipper, but you know, I prefer to just finger flick it right off of this. You know, and you can do this. You can do the front flip. Okay, even on the baby, that kind of thing. You can do that as well. So here's how it compares size wise with the baby. Okay, so this is nice. It's a nice little easy carry here. Okay, and still front flip it. And you know, there's that kind of, I don't know, that's a G10 uh, mix, you know, of orange and black, kind of cool. And so, yeah, I mean, I've got, the, I've got the Tanto Beluga. Did they make a mini Tanto? If they did, I never did get one. And I don't need to get one. I think I've got enough. I think I got enough. Um, but no, so this is blue micarta, obviously, which is nice. It's grippy. It feels good. The ergos are fine. And how much does it weigh? Doesn't really matter. It's just a good looking knife, man. And you know what? Come here. Let me give my, this is one of my, I got a stack of these microfiber things to do my SUV with. And now I'm using them. All wiping down knives and shit. So there you go. Uh, oh, and it does look lovely when you wipe it down. So I guess if you want to do that, and I've done this before, is taking that food grade mineral oil. Go to the to the pharmacy side and get food grade mineral oil, and you can put it on here, let it soak in, and it'll do this all the way through. You'll have a uniform this. Otherwise, you know, this is like this, which is not bad. It's a good uniform color, but also over time, your greasy, grimy hands will, the oils in your skin will, you know, 
permeate this, and so it will darken down. Okay, so just as a matter of time and whatever. And now, of course, the scale went off because I was running my trap. Okay, um, 170 grams. Okay, so it's not ultra lightweight, is it? And let's look at the ounces. Six ounces. Okay, not bad for, you know, boom. Well, no rattle rattle, okay? So that's good. Do we have a little drain hole? Yep, sure do. Okay, strap this to a pack, do this and that. Uh, I guess you can, oh, these just snap. Okay, so you can unsnap that, do whatever you want. Okay, um, so however you want to carry this, that's way that's really cool. Let me push off with this. Okay, okay, it's not... It's not real difficult, but it's not real easy either. So this is going to stay pretty secured. All right. What I mean, what do you think? Hold on. Let's do one thing. Let's get the calipeter out. And we go to zero, huh? Let's see how fat the fatty is. It's 17 millimeter, 0.66. Okay, that's a nice rocking handful, that's for sure. Would you want, you don't want good, you want good purchase on a fixed blade. 11.9 or 1.1, 1.2 inches, can we just say, height there, which is not that much. That's not bad. 30 millimeter, okay. No, not bad. But nice enough. Uh, you know, contoured, looks good. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm up with that. Let me get the death-defying uh, uh, good screw uh, driver and see if this will... I don't know if I can... Oh, did I pop it? No, nope. hold on. Let me get grip daddy. Okay, you know what? Okay, so I was going to kind of peek in here and see what the deal was. But the problem is I cannot, and this is maybe the only knock I got against it, right? Is that I wish they would have put these on both sides so I could pop it apart. Um, because look at, okay, but it's turning. This is turning on this side. Yeah, I can feel it. It's. It's turning, okay, back and forth. So, yeah, and this one's turning as well. So, no point. I can't take these off without going through some stuff, and there's just no point. I just was kind of curious just to see, but no, nah, it's not going to It's not gonna cooperate. So, uh, okay, uh, do I need to take the handles off? Nope. But I was just curious to see if it was skeletonized or if you could like cord wrap it or do something else with it. So, but now I, I, you know, I know I could pull a few tricks to get these off, but I, I don't want to go through the contortion. Uh, it's not worth it. Sometimes it's just not worth, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type thing. So, all right. Beluga. Yeah. I mean, it's stout. It's good looking. It's a fixed blade. You know, and if you like the, you know, if you like the folding belugas, I think you're going to like the fixed blade too, if you're into fixed blades at all. And you know what? I guess I'm not a big, big fixed blade guy, but I do appreciate fixed blades because they, you know, they ain't going to break no matter what. I mean, you know, not like this. These, I mean, it's, it's, it's a blade and a handle, okay? This is all one thing here. So this is going to be a lot more stout. If you're really going to put, put it to the shit, uh, then this is what you really want in your hands. All the people doing the spine whack test, I just say one thing. Get a fixed blade. All right, take care. Fixed, folder, folder. And you know what? Choices are wonderful, aren't they? 
Uh, this feels good in the hand. You know, I've seen this one. I know it's been out for a while. And I was tempted, but I just held back because I got so many PF knives, petrified fish. But you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish off the Beluga collection right here. And there we go. Take care, my friends. Yes, we do love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.